In John Wick 4s, we get to play with so many different tools. The one thing that Chad had in his head, he had nunchucks. But it couldn't just be nunchucks. It had to be nunchucks, but how do you use that with a pistol? We had a solid six months of him learning how to train with nunchucks, but a lot of times it was also mixed in with the judo and jiu-jitsu. So he's doing nunchucks and gun at the same time, mixing it with jiu-jitsu at the same time. It was definitely a learning curve because it's like, how do you put enough nunchucks to make everybody interested and excited, but not too much where it becomes another nunchuck sequence? Jeremy broke down the Bruce Lee and Enter the Dragon with the nunchuck sequence, so that was my warm-up sequence. Instead of making it a scene about nunchucks, it became another set of his platform. So part of his platform is having his handgun and reloading with the handgun. Well, in between reloads, when he's out of bullets, he can use this hand to hit with the nunchucks. And we just kind of made it second nature to where every time he put his nunchucks around his neck, it was kind of like holstering his gun. So it looked like he was going from a primary to a secondary weapon. We do these threads where I have nunchucks and I have to like hit and do different, you know, different holstering and then threads with guns and hitting and disarms and, and go throw. And it's been great to have a creative team to help put me in positions and situations that are dramatic and with action and, you know, coming out of that, you know, we came up with terms like gun foo and car foo. Osaka interior, that was built in, you know, like an old subway station. Welcome to the Osaka Continental. How can I help? I really try to mix this traditional samurai kind of way of life in their aesthetics and their and the artwork that dates back to the 1600s. I use that as a base, as a foundation. And what can we do to make it modern day contemporary? So for example, the exhibit room, I framed all these old, beautiful rice paper paintings and framed them in glass and put modern frames around them and put them all over the place. As a modern art gallery or art, modern art space would be. That transition from the interior of the hotel to the exterior streets of Osaka, we figured it'd be great to have them go through a traditional bamboo Zen garden. We took over about four or five acres of property and we created our own bamboo that was shipped in from all over Europe. We have over 500 sticks of bamboo with waterfalls and a rock garden and cherry trees. We kind of were able to create our own little backyard to the hotel. It was a fun thing to do. I think this is a good John Wick world. I'm enjoying my hotel, Osaka Continental, very much. Oh my god, Donnie Yen's interested in being in a John Wick film. My version was more like Zantuichi, you blind, stumbling masseuse guy, that kind of guy. You know, and after my first creative talk with Donnie, it was like, oh, I gotta, I don't want to play him like that. I want to be way cooler. When I'm back home, when I'm with the, my most comfortable environment with my colleagues, Asian filmmakers, right? They don't understand me as much as Chad does. And that's a compliment to him. And I told him that. I said, you know, it's very interesting that you understand where I'm coming from. And I understand where he's coming from. He wanted to be inspiring. He wanted to be positive. He didn't want to be the stereotypical blind swordsman as it's been played in the past. Actually, I was kind of against that in the beginning. And he said, oh, he's blind. That was before I went to Berlin, right? I said, I've done that in Rogue One, in Star Wars, right? I, I played the blind man before, you know? Do you, you really want to go there? How am I going to react, right? There? How am I going to bring what I wanted to achieve, that full, complex character? It's challenging. I'm still finding some. And Donnie came at it very hard, like, look, man, for myself, I gotta do something different. I, I wanna add, like, I wanna go to the extremes in this. Like, like, I can play it like this tripping blind guy, or I can just be assumed that I'm so good that I have to do that. I'm like, okay, let's start with that. Let's start with, we're not gonna do the traditional blind guys. We're not gonna do the tappy tappy, all this stuff. Yeah. Then you're like, hmm. Do a little, you can do your hearing thing. And then it's like, should have stayed out, try to find it. Stayed out. This is John Wick. We need to create John Wick work, and he has to be are very skilled martial artist assassins. He sent me some pictures. What do you think? What, what, how does he picture this cane? And I told him, well, I see him 
stylish. Steve McQueen, Bruce Lee. And I said, have you remember Bruce Lee during the black and white interview with the skinny tie and the black suit and everything? This should be a little Bruce Lee ish here, a little Enter the Dragon. We have really good film talks. We go off and talking about all kinds of films, from uh, cinema, Paradiso, to anything, where right? we talk about characters, talk about these actors. I am a massive David Lieben fan. So that's Lawrence of Arabia, so check the desert box. Obviously, I've got a fetish for deserts. You get to actually do a horse chase in the Jordanian desert in Aqaba, where they shot Lawrence of Arabia. Just to be there and see Lawrence Fishman blow out a match, like Pierre O'Toole, is worth all the pain and suffering of directing for the last 10 years, for sure. Chad makes references that I get. He'll talk to me about a movie. He'll say, oh, I'm a little bit of this and that, a little bit from this movie, a little bit from that movie. I'll be like, oh, yes, I get it. Chad is, a, I guess, a cinephile. Between he and Keanu, they're pretty much a library, uh, of a repository of films. 70s, 60s, 70s, into the 80s. Chad was really drawn to the good, the bad, and the ugly. So one of the initial ideas when we were kind of thinking about what would be in John Wick 4 was this, this duel. Challenge him to single combat. Sort of iconic fight was something that we all pictured and thought would be so incredible to modernize and use Paris as the backdrop. And I think that Chad and Keanu wanted to sort of tap into John Wick being a Western and John Wick as a Western character. He's also Westerns and Samurai films. Western, Eastern, mixing together. So unique. And then also perfect matching for the John Wick world. I met Chad Stahelski when I was training for The Matrix and they were looking for stunt doubles. I stumbled upon Jackpot with The Matrix because I became Keanu Reeves' stunt double to have somebody that put that much of himself in it, it was just unheard of. And to see how much he cared. How could you possibly go to work every day with this guy if you gave even this much less than he did? The challenge was to give this much more than he did, which was not easy. Chad went on to do second unit work, second unit directing, action design, started his own company, then Pogue directed John Wick. And so that's really where it shifted to Chad as a director, a producer, and working on the John Wick stories and what they would be. What I've seen from Chad over the years is that he's evolved from, oh wow, that's the ex-stunt double of Keanu Reeves from The Matrix to the best action director in Hollywood in the last 15, 20 years. <laughs> Well done. Well done. Chad and Keanu have known each other forever, and that deep trust and bond that they have with each other has been there since day one. It's why Chad is here directing John Wick 4. I think there's very few franchises that have the consistency that we have with this core team of director star. Chad has directed chapter two, chapter three, and now chapter four. His take on action and the way that action and drama and story have to kind of go hand in hand is my taste. Keanu loves this franchise so much. I mean, he's in every script meeting. He's part of the casting discussions. He has come up with a lot of the best story ideas. Here's Killer coming. Oh. I love working with Keanu Reeves. I think he's one of the best creative collaborative partners I could have ever wanted, let alone imagined. This hit goes out to you, Mr. Wick. Woke up this morning. 42 regular, wasn't it? Yeah. And so it begins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Living in this time behind enemy lines, so I got mine, I hope you got those. Challenge him to single combat. If you win, you will have your freedom. And when I see you, I'ma take what I want, so. Amen. You ain't real, hope y'all. Y'all feel the wrath of the killer. Many try, many die, but you want a war. Get it bloody. Step out.
Bravo, Nerega. <laughs> Come on. The only way John Wick will ever have freedom and peace is in death. Yeah, not really.